Long Live the Glorious October Socialist Revolution, 7 November 1917, 7 November 2012. Today is the 95th anniversary. Long Live the next Soviet Socialist Revolutions. It was the dawn of 7 November 1917, 25 October for the Russian calendar, when Lenin from Smolny Palace, which I had the pleasure of visiting, at the quarter of the Revolutionary Committee of St. Petersburg, then Leningrad, gave the order to attack, and the armed revolutionary militias of the Bolshevik Communist Party attacked the Winter Palace, arresting the provisional government while from the Neva River, the Kreuzer Aurora, whose crew had mutinied, cannonaded the already decaying Tsarist regime. After the defeat of Spartacus in the struggle for liberation of the slaves by the Roman armies in 71 before Christ, the defeat of the Royal Paris Commune in 1871 and of the Russian revolutions of 1905 and February 1917, For the first time in the history of the humanity, the proletarian social class that in the 5,000 years of the history of mankind was formed by slaves, farm workers, stable boys, poor prisons, workers and exploited by any master, conquered the political power, defeated the bourgeois and clever class, put an end to the thousand year exploitation of man by man and freed workers women and men humiliated in their existential dignity, from the economic and social slavery, from misery and the abomination of capitalist power, beside from the tragedy of the imperialist war, which was still in progress. The dark night of millennia of abuse and harassment of any kind on the working class by the tour and repressive ruling class was torn by the dawn of the victorious revolution, that opened the prospect of a new era to the humanity, made of material liberation and human sensibilities, of economic and social equality, of justice and freedom, of socialist democracy, result of power and popular government of society, of royal and lived dignity of the life, of satisfaction of the needs and joy of life and enjoyment, finally, of physical and intellective pleasures of daily leisure at the end of the work day. It was the dawn of a new era of humanity, the era of the construction of socialist society and the building of that communist one, the era of the world free from exploitation of human labor, from imperial wars of territorial expansion, of slavery of peoples and of exploitation of their mineral and agricultural resources, the era of the end of the absolute domination of the power of capital on the planet and the beginning of the end of colonialism and of armed robbery of imperialism. A prospect that in few decades, despite strong resistance and Nazi fascist counter-attacks of imperialism, nested about the third of the total area of the planet. Unfortunately, this new era and this new orb of life on Earth was, once again, stopped by the devastating effects of residues of virtuous and religious culture, which is of selfish, opportunistic, exhibitionist and climber nature, unfortunately survived in the new socialist societies and generated the devastating ill of revisionism, of the class and revolutionary doctrine of Marxist-Leninism, and they reopened the way from the rupture of the infamous power and the capitalist society. In the Soviet Union, this misfortune began after the death of Comrade Stalin, and with the turning of the 20th Congress imposed by the new revisionist leadership of the party. It was a counter-revolutionary turning, fomented and supported with all possible means by the imperialist countries that involved all the countries of socialism made in the 20th century and the communist parties born from the third international of the capitalist countries such as the Italian Communist Party. Now the people massacred by the umpteenth economic crisis of the capitalist system which we are experiencing 
strangled by the banking and financial market and angry by its bourgeois government, expect a new wave of proletarian revolution that this time will destroy and will bury forever the monster of capitalism and imperialism. But in order that the new wave of proletarian revolution can be affirmed itself definitively, can be constructed the socialist society in each country and can be edified the communist society, it is necessary that the working class of all nations build priority their party of more Bolshevik, a class, namely class and revolutionary party, or Marxist Leninist party, a granite party led by professional revolutionaries and based on the working method of democratic centralism. In a capitalist country, only a party of Bolshevik nature, identical to the one forged in Russia by Lenin and Stalin, can revive and lead to the victory, the Socialist Revolution. In Italy, the Italian Marxist-Leninist Communist Party works in this perspective, hoping that this takes place in historical time close together. And it is with this consciousness and awareness that we now remember that great event, which represented and nurtured the hope of liberation and new life of the working class of all countries of the world. With future proletarian revolution, we will redeem dutifully and proudly even the heroic memory of those who sacrificed their lives for the collective and universal sentiment, knowing well that the resumption of the journey towards socialism passes necessarily through the struggle and preventive defeat of all and new revisionism. Now the pitch dark of the night of absolute rule of the rebel of capitalism and imperialism on our planet in famous domain of exploitation, repression and poverty, help it to survive by revisionist opportunist traitors and renegades. It still pitch and seems impenetrable, but we Marxist Leninists we revolutionaries and fighters for socialism, scientific experts of the weakness and contradictions of the system of the class enemy, contradictions that soon will explode with all the destructive and cavalier power of the capitalist beast, with confidence in human intelligence and in the emancipatory strength of women and men, all, and in their ability to organize and fight to build a new world. We who with the daily political struggle in effect are already forging the instruments of revolution and victory of the work on the profit and life over it in the capitalist productive processes, already we can see the glow of the dawn, the dawn of rescue and heroism, the sun of victory, the triumph of the exploited over the exploiter, and the definitive annihilation of the class enemy of the ferocity of economic and political capitalist power. Come on, comrades and workers, all with clenched and tense fists of our left arm. Don't fear absolutely. The enemy is within our reach. It will be not hard to win. Victory is near, and we will win with the same determination and dedication of our brothers and Bolshevik comrades who fought at dawn on 7 November 1917. It is a revolution that has already begun and that, that we are conducting with a class and revolutionary struggle against banking, financial and monetary, national and international imperialism, against capitalism for the working management of factories that close, against wild dismissals, against job insecurity, young people in particular against the government and the bourgeois clerical and capitalist parliament that are starving us, destroying our lives, and against rampant corruption that the economic, political and institutional master system generates. We assert the social rights that are denying us, starting from the security of a job, wage or salary, the certainty of life and its needs and a dignified life and world to be lived. Long live the glorious and immortal October Socialist Revolution. Long live 
our next Soviet Socialist Revolution in Italy. Long live our great masters of the international proletariat, Marx, Engels, Lenin and Stalin, who are our safe guide to the revolution and socialism. Long live the comrade Stalin, continuer of the work of Lenin, builder of socialists and leader of the Red Army in the memorable victory against the Nazi fascism. Yeah! <laughs>